I'm Dave Salverson. We're at my uh, ranch uh, southwest of Camrose. My brother and I run a, a cow-calf to finish operation. We have about uh, 750 cows. As you know, uh, BSE was devastating for us when we lost so many markets around the world for uh, extended periods of time and then gradual re-entry into those markets. But uh, part of uh, uh, you know, getting back into the markets is rules-based trade. Under that uh, and the OIE, we are required to test a significant amount of animals every year. Ten years ago last week, I shipped four cows to the auction market and I got a bill for $4.88. Last week I shipped four cows to the same auction market and I got $1,788 per cow. That's the difference. Well, what's happened is people have thought the BSE crisis is over, I don't need to submit animals for testing anymore. The truth is we need to, we have set numbers we need to test every year. And if we don't do that, we may lose our option to export beef. So it's very important for every producer, including and especially dairy producers, to provide these samples. Well, the BSE surveillance program is vital for us because we export 50% of our product or sometimes even more from Western Canada. So the export market is vital to us. The BSE surveillance program is what allows us to maintain our status. In order to do so, we have to prove that we are actually actively looking for BSE and have a proper monitoring system. And we've got an excellent traceability monitoring system here. We have to be using it. The process for BSE testing is extremely simple. If you have an animal, you're concerned about and that, uh, that needs to be put down or has died, you just phone your local vet and they come out and do all the work for you and it's really a simple, simple process. The vet's trip is paid here so I usually try to have him look at something else while he's here. If you've got him here for no travel cost, you might as well use him. The only way that we can demonstrate to the rest of the world that we don't have a BSE problem is to test animals and show them that we're looking and not finding the disease. It's very easy for producers to participate. It's just a matter of you know, identifying that they've got a cow that they think might uh, qualify and then phoning their veterinarian. For participating in the program, actually, producers receive a $75 reimbursement to help offset the cost of disposal. If a cow is positive, I think there still might be some misconceptions about what the, the ramifications would be. When an animal tests positive, we inform the Canadian Food Inspection Agency and they do a complete herd investigation. And what they're looking for is animals of equivalent risk. In a nutshell, those are animals that shared the same feed in their first year of life. Those animals will be depopulated, but not the whole herd. It's only the a select few animals. And the, the farmer is compensated for the loss of those animals. The names of the producers are not released. We never give out names, we never give out locations. It's a matter of if everybody does just a little bit, uh, it will go a long ways to helping us meet our targets. It is so important because we need these export markets. We need markets like Japan, Korea, China, the EU, places like that. If a country isn't convinced or we can't prove we have a very robust system here and that we are utilizing it, that could eventually harm us in the marketplace in some of these other, other countries. There's no excuse. We should all do it. We need to step up and all do our part.